I was 12 years old when I knew I wanted to be a romance novelist. My mom came up to me one day when I was sitting at the uh, dining table. I was working on math homework, and she drops this book on the table next to me, and she goes, I want you to read this book. So I look at it, and there's this very risque photo on the cover. The title was Desert Hostage. And I look at the title, I look at the image on the cover, I look at her, and she goes, and then I want you to find a man like that. And I said, okay, 12 years old, I'm not really looking for a man, but I have math homework, or I have Desert Hostage, and I have permission to read Desert Hostage. So the next four days, I was completely consumed by that book. Yeah, and then when I got to the end, and I was like, what do I do now? What do I, of course, after a while, it took me about four days, I figured out, well, I'll just go get another romance novel and just keep going. But for that time, I was like, this is it. You know, I want to do that. I want to write this sweeping story that, that takes you away, and you can't put the book down until it's over. And then when it's over, you're sorry that you read it so fast, because now you can't go back. Fan reaction to my books, the, the number one thing is probably the number of Crossfire babies that now exist in the world today the number of people who have come to book signings around the world with strollers, with small children, little Gideons, little Avas, and, and they tell me, you know, I started reading your books and then this is what happened. <laughs> you know, and it's just like, wow. And so we've actually, you know, started, you know, trying to work with different moms to, to get information on those Crossfire babies so we can send them a, a birthday card on their birthday. And, you know, say welcome to the world. <laughs> oh God, I would tell myself not to take it so seriously. Have fun. You know, it should be fun. It, that something horrible would happen to my children is really like the, the biggest fear that I've got. Anything else, I can absolutely overcome it. Um, there's nothing insurmountable, but yeah, if something happened to my kids, I think I would just be completely devastating. I'm a Pisces. And it, you've got the dreamer with the ambitious part, and it, sometimes those two are kind of hard to, uh, to, to mesh well, but yeah, absolutely. Every time I read a description of what a Pisces is, I'm like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Red wine. I'm a simple gal. Sometimes I like it on the sweeter end, so I'll get like a Pinot Noir. A lot of times I prefer Merlot, you know, nice and dry. Get that crisp on your on your tongue. I mean, I just red wine. Yeah. Gone with the wind. Yeah, Gone with the wind. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. But I just love how fierce Scarlett O'Hara is. And, and that it's, she's a bit clueless. <laughs> it takes her so long to figure out who, who the one is. But, uh, you know, and you always know, even, even when the, the credits start rolling, you always know that those two are going to find each other again. My favorite place on earth is Manhattan. And, and people ask me all the time, you know, you've been all around the world, you know, where, where do you, you know, what's your favorite city? And it's, it's always been Manhattan. I just love it. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your support for all of my books from the Crossfire series all the way back to when I first started in 2004. I appreciate all of the lovely little postcards you make online, all the letters that you send me, all the miles that you travel when you come out to see me at a book signing. All of it means the world to me. Thank you.